Vandals have struck again. They have tagged another mansion, this time a $21.5 million home for sale in Bel Air. This comes after two similar incidents in the Hollywood Hills. Eyewitness News reporter Monica DeAnda live in Bel Air this morning outside the latest home to get hit. Monica. Yeah, Mark, Irene, this mansion is huge. It's over 7,000 square feet. We're standing just outside of it. But what makes this situation different is that this property, uh, it's actually for sale. We're going to walk this way and show you. You can see the sign. It's right in front of it. And it shows you. It alerts everybody that it's for sale. And uh, right now, like as we said, it's the latest to fall victim to this graffiti. The, vi the video of this is actually going viral. Take a look. Uh, this is what this multi-million dollar mansion now looks like. The graffiti is everywhere. You can see it there. It covers the walls the roof, the ground, even the interior of the home. This mansion is currently on the market for $21.5 million. And we did reach out to the realtor to find out when this graffiti activity began and what's being done to keep the taggers out. At this point, we're still waiting to hear back. Now, remember, this isn't the first multi-million dollar home to get uh, hit by graffiti in recent weeks. These two other Hollywood Hills mansions have been taken over by squatters and taggers. And now we're finally hearing from the owner, John Powers Middleton, whose father owns the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, speaking to the New York Post, Middleton expressed regret over the situation, adding he's beefed up security at his homes with armed guards around the clock and vows to repay any taxpayer money used to secure his homes and promises to settle his unpaid taxes. Now, again, those situations happen in Hollywood Hills, but as we come back out here live, we're in Bel Air. Now, homes over here are getting uh, vandalized by graffiti. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be taken over by squatters, but at this time, we again have reached out to LAPD to ask what they're doing about the situation and about previous reports. We have learned that at least overnight, no reports, but we are looking to get more answers on what's been going on here in the recent weeks. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.